international phenomenon known as breakdancing is an art form that continues to evolve even 40 years after its conception. Although commercially known simply as a street dance made popular in the Bronx, when you actually break the dance down, it's a combination of distinct, stylized elements whose origin you trace back to various parts of the country. Bushwick, Brooklyn, circa 1968, Apache emerges and alongside Rubber Band Man creates the popular dance style now globally known as the Up Rock. Going back into my childhood, I used to go out dancing with the guys and all that, doing our moves, doing some crazy moves. Everybody thought, you're crazy, what the hell are you doing? You look stupid. You know, as time went by, everybody started doing it. The Bronx, for me, I give them the recognition of the box, you know, and they figured by doing that, they might be doing the same thing we did even before they came around, which is the burn and the, and the jerk. Burns and jerks are a series of body movements and hand gestures meant to humiliate or rock your opponent during battle. As rocking gained popularity in Bushwick, the dance quickly evolved and soon spread like wildfire throughout New York and eventually the world. There was a lot of areas where it was like a style. And as time went on, the style started changing. Why? Because certain sections thought they were better than certain sections. So instead of grabbing guns and going out there shooting each other, we figured, let's see who could dance the best. Then it got to a point where it was like every other block. In the summertime, it was incredible. I mean, you had to be oh, there. The no matter how much I express it and emphasize on it, I don't think the human imagination could actually view it. Everybody dancing all night long, burning each other, and go from block party to block party to see who's going to challenge who. And then it got so tough that people started making crews, so to speak. You know, like a 12 o'clock crew, midnight crew, dynasty, yeah, rock dancers, right? It's Saudi rock, you know? Continuing to represent the famed dynasty rockers crew is Ralph Casanova, who in 1980 earned the title of King Up Rock. Today, King Up Rock is passionate about sharing this groundbreaking phenomena with the Up Rock legends of tomorrow while fighting to preserve Brooklyn's place in breakdance history. That's why I have these free practices. I go around the world teaching about the history because I mean, the Bronx have done some things, Queens have done a lot of things, but Brooklyn is the biggest borough, and we had clubs and DJs before that we never even heard of, of Cool Herc or the Bambadas. To me, is who contributes today? What are you doing today for the dance? What are you doing today for music? Because a lot of these guys, they come back and they say they're old school pioneers, but they don't want to do nothing for their people. You know, and if you notice, all the rockers were really Latino. 90% were Latinos, Puerto Ricans. The rubber band was always a great salsa dancer and a hustle dancer. And what he did was he converted what moves he did into the funk and soul music because at that time it was funk and soul and disco. And that's one dance that the kids are now looking at and saying, wow, we love that, that's dance. We was never told that Brooklyn had this history going on and they're not giving us the recognition. So we have to come back and knock the door down to take the recognition. And that's what we're doing.